People ask me what I ski on, and when they ask, I usually reply with a very lengthy and over-the-top explanation as to what I ski on and why. So I thought I'd make some videos to explain what my setups are and why they are the way that they are. I categorize my ski setups by light, medium, and heavy. And today we're going to be talking about my medium setup for backcountry touring. So I was looking for a good all-around pair of skis that were lightweight but could handle a variety of terrain and snow type. And when I brought this up with Kristoff, he uh, chewed on it for a while and then he sent me a text saying that he had found the perfect ski at a great price. And that ski is the Fisher Hannibal 96. These Fishers have a wood core with a little bit of carbon mixed in and that's how they're able to keep the weight down. These skis are great all around, but they're not really great at any one thing. And a lot of that comes from the fact that they're so light. These skis weigh, with my atomic backland binding, 7.2 pounds. Let's see if you can see that. 7.2 pounds. Now on this setup, I've put the Atomic Backland bindings, which was also a compromise. I didn't want to put on a super lightweight binding. I wanted a binding with a little bit more performance. And so I put these on. And I gotta say, I absolutely love the Atomic Backland uh, Backlands binding. One, one of the things I do like is that this part right here turns. The heel piece turns and you can stash it, which gives it a flat walk mode. Now, of course, I always love it when you can flip these things down when you're climbing and get a little bit of hill lift when you climb. Another thing to point out is that they are adjustable and you can, you know, use different boots. And sometimes I do use my heavier boots with these skis. One downside to this bike is that the leash is a joke. And if you look here, you'll notice that the wire part of the leash that is attached to the front of the binding snapped, and that's not something you want a leash to do. Also, these fit most crampons. I wanna say that I use a pair of DinaFit crampons with these skis. When I ski with this setup, I most often use these boots. And these are the Fisher Traverse carbon boots and I've really enjoyed these boots. They feel stiff for how lightweight they are. A lot of that has to do with their carbon construction and I love the BOA system, always been a fan. I know that Kristoff has popped this part off and broken it and actually I gotta say that sometimes when I climb around in the rocks, I am a little bit worried about this BOA sitting out here as far as it does and after having Kristoff break it, it is a concern. One of the best things about this boot is that they have a huge range of motion. I mean, just, it doesn't even feel like you're wearing boots when you've got these on and they're in walk mode. You could probably uh, wear them to drive your car. And I know that some people have, I'm not gonna name names, but some people have driven their cars with these boots. And then it's just a simple latch to put them into ski mode. It's just boom, right there. They've held up reasonably well, considering that I beat the crap out of my equipment and I don't treat it uh, very well. But one part of this boot that has failed after about a hundred days or maybe a little bit more of skiing is the uh, built-in gator. What's hap happening is that it's slowly coming apart right here where the gator meets the boot. And that's a real shame because I love these boots. Other than that, they've held up admirably considering how poorly they've been treated. But right now, at least as of two days ago, you could find these boots, which is last year's style, on sale at a ridiculous price. I think on Steep and Cheap and a couple of other websites. And if you've got a relatively narrow foot and you're looking for a lightweight boot that is somewhat stiff, this is a great boot. I've got the boots, I've got the skis, I've got the Atomic Backland bindings. And the skins I chose to use for these Fishers were actually the Fisher brand skins. And I decided to use these skins just because of, you know, it's just so easy to have a pre-cut skin. 
You pay a little bit more, but it's just so nice. And they've got their own little proprietary system, which is this little hook right here. And this is Fisher's system. And what you do is you put it in right here and you just go like this and you put it on and you rip it and put it down there. And it works great. These are pretty good skins. Christoph told me who made these skins and I've completely forgot, but they're a well-known brand and these skins work pretty great. Uh, the one downside of these skins is that when you're like me and it's freezing up on a ridge line, you're just trying to rip off your skins. If you tug on this part really hard, you will separate it from the fabric part of the skin. And so I did that, or was about to do that, and my solution was not clean or elegant, but it was to just staple these two parts back together. And I did that at the beginning of last season in my DIY, I'll probably make a video about DIYing this um, for sure, lots of people would love that. But it worked out, lasted all last season, hopefully this season as well. You wanted to know what I skied? You may not have liked the answer, but this is my medium setup. This is my uh, don't know what the snow conditions are going to be like ski setup for backcountry touring. And I gotta say that while not everybody is a fan of the Fisher Hannibals, I think they're pretty sweet. And you can get these skis on sale as well because they came out with a new Hannibal 96 that looks pretty cool. And so you can find these old ones for cheap. I got these for under 300 bucks. Actually, I should be honest, uh, Christoph found these skis for under 300 bucks. He bought me a pair and then sold them to me. Anyway, that's uh, a mediocre medium setup. Again, the Fisher Hannibal 96 with the Atomic Backland binding and the Fisher Traverse boots. If you put all three of these things together, I promise you, you will have an easier time getting into the backcountry and doing some somewhat okay skiing.